Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. We are doing whoops, acting from all angles today. Hi, this is sponsored by Actors in Action. And today we're going to be talking about self taping. Some things that, something that everybody as actors are like, how do I do it? And what if I need help? And Courtney's here. Hey, Courtney. And all that stuff. So we're going to cover all those bases. But first, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Julianne Lichty Stratton, and I am the creator of Actors in Action Professional Training for Actors, where we take actors and we help them get their own fail-proof process so they can rock any audition or booking or callback and have a really fantastic way of working. All right, so let's dive in. Let's talk about self-taping. Nowadays, uh, we're ta taping, self-doing, self-taping so much more than in the past. And it's probably just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger that way, um, which is cool. There's a lot of advantages to that. And there's some disadvantages, I suppose. I suppose it's it's great to go in and meet the casting director and meet with people. Um, that's fun. But in our modern world, things are really fast and we're turning things around and we got to get our stuff out there. And so self-taping is just becoming more common. So let's talk about how to make your self-taping fantastic. There's actually quite a bit we have to talk about about this we're going to scratch the surface on it there's so much more but basically self tape what you want to do ultimately the probably the best thing to do is um to have um I'm getting some love here hey barrett barrett's here awesome so what the best thing to do is to have another actor a friend be able to come over to your house or you go to their house and they tape you that's the ideal but that can't always happen and so we've got some tricks to to work on to be able to self-tape even if you don't have your friend available to come over right away. Um, let me actually first talk about, um, yeah, I'm getting thumbs up on that. Let me actually talk about first the very most important thing about self-taping, which is lighting, actually. Lighting is super, super huge, and um, I highly recommend that you invest in some lighting equipment. I have some links to some lighting equipment. They're not that expensive. Um, I mean, it just, it depends on what you're looking for. Some of them, you can get lighting equipment from like 50 bucks to 150, or you could spend thousands if, if you want, but of course you don't need that. What I recommend is having three lights at least, and we're gonna do a Facebook Live on lighting another time, because it gets pretty involved. Um, but what you wanna do is you wanna have three lights, you wanna have one light like right in front of you, then you wanna have one light sort of off to your side. Can't really see on this Facebook, but it's sort of off to your side. And then you want to have a headlight, a light over your head, um, a hair light, they call it, to like make your head pop. So if you can have those three lights, that's great. So if you can find a place in your house to set up, this is like where I do my auditions and have your lights there or have your lights accessible, that is really great. Um, usually you want a blank wall. I have this nice green room in here and I do my auditions in here and they look really great against the wall. And if you don't have lights, you can also use a window. So right now where I'm sitting, I have this great big window right in front of me and you can see it's lighting me really well. It looks really good. Um, so you could also just have a light, a, a window in front of you that has lots of light. Um, you just don't wanna have shadows. You don't wanna be poorly lit. And lit. You, don't, you don't want it to look you know, unprofessional. So because the lighting will really make it look professional. For it's just it, it, and the more professional your audition looks, the more chance you have of booking or getting called back. So invest in that. Even if you want to like invest with a couple of friends, you can each put in twenty five bucks and spend seventy five bucks and get three lights and just sort of share them. Um, a little thing about these lights: the, most of the ones that I have put up here, um, they the light bulbs are really delicate. So if you do order these, make sure that you. Um, you don't store your lights with the lights in them. Take them out, put them in their boxes, put them away, which is kind of a pain, but it will help you from breaking those lights because if the lights fall over and they're pretty top heavy and they smash the lights, you're out. And you gotta, you gotta buy more light bulbs and they're like eight bucks a pop. So, so be careful with them. I do have one on here, which is an LED light, which I just ordered myself. Um, I'm gonna try it, see if it works really well. It was about 60 bucks. So here's some lights on there. So there you go. Um, oh, we've got a couple other people joining us. Catherine's here and um, Rebecca. Great. Nice to see you guys. All right. So lighting. 
Super important, really, really important. Have good lighting, have a nice background, a blank wall. Um, I like to put a little bit of color into the wall. They say, you know, white wall is fine. Um, if you have a wall in your house, like yellow or blue or whatever, that's great. Also, you can do a backdrop. You can do a backdrop. I believe one of the, the, one of the lighting kits I recommended has a backdrop to it too. So you can set that up. You can even do a green screen if you want to shoot other things and put stuff back there. That's really cool. But you want it to look professional and really nice. All right, so of course, I'm not even gonna be talking about the acting here today. Obviously, you wanna be off book. Obviously, you wanna have worked on stuff and, and look up off your page and um, make sure you're looking at the reader if there's not a reader there, which we're gonna talk about in a second. You're at least looking off camera when you're reading your lines. You wanna slate to the camera, and then you wanna look slightly off either side of the camera to your partner that you're reading to, your reader. All right, so that's the best case scenario. You've got a beautiful lighting setup. You've got, and that's most important, I think, really important besides the acting, beautiful lighting setup. You got a great actor friend there that's reading. And you know, you really want somebody who, who can be a good reader, who can act. You don't want to just get your neighbor next door to read the lines like, I to be or not to be. That's, that's gonna make your audition it's gonna you know, make it not as good either. So you wanna have somebody who knows what they're doing. Now, if you cannot get a friend to come over or you can't go to their house, there's another option. Uh, there's a couple of other options. Um, there's also, you can get your audition done professionally. I know in LA and New York, there's tons of places out there where you go and you pay a, a certain amount and you just go in and they take your audition for you in a beautiful setup and they read with you and they're good readers and then they take it and they send it to the person that it needs to go to. So that's a really awesome thing. Um, we don't really have anything like that here in Utah yet. I'm trying to set that up, trying to get a new studio where I can set that up and be of service to people in that way because that is really helpful. Um, all right, so if you, but if you don't have that, if you don't have a friend that come over, you can't go over to their friend, you can't go to have it professionally done. What you can do is this very tricky little thing. It's pretty cool. Um, you can, Get your phone, you're gonna like videotape yourself on your phone, right? And you're gonna get your computer. So if you have a computer and a phone, or maybe two phones, you can do this. Um, you're gonna set up your phone to tape you, and then you're gonna call your friend, you're gonna have set this up beforehand, you email them on the sides, call your friend, and then they are going to um, read the lines for you over their computer or their phone, and so that you're reading your lines, being recorded on your phone, and they're reading the lines to you, to, for the reader for you. It's a little awkward. Um, it's not the best, it's not my top, you know, best case scenario, but it, it works. It's better than recording your other partner's lines and playing them, which I've done before. You, you do a, a recording of it and then you try to fit your lines in and that is okay, but it's, a, it's tricky. You really need to have somebody else to work, work off with. So, um, so how that works is you need well, they need, they need, no, you need a computer and a phone or two different ways of talking. And you set up your phone or however you're recording yourself and then the person calls in or you can do Skype, which works really great, or you can also do Zoom. Um, Zoom is a lot like Skype. I'm gonna post the link to Zoom right here. And we'll talk about Zoom a little bit more in depth in a second, I really like Zoom. Um, it's really cool for conferencing and for doing this stuff. So. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna have um, your phone set up, and then ideally you're gonna have your friend Skype in, or Zoom in on, their, on your computer, so that you can see them. So, and you can, it, it's just easier to see them if you can even set, um, set up your camera, so it's right here filming you, that you can look at your friend and read with them, you're gonna even have more of a connection. Um, so you can do that. And it takes a little coordination, it takes a little getting used to. You're also going to have to trim your video because you're gonna to have to reach up and turn on the video. And then, hi, I'm Julianne Lichty, you're gonna slate, and then you'll do your thing, and then you have to turn it off. And they're gonna see that. So what you do with that is, um, I'm getting a little techy here, that you take your video and you open up QuickTime. If you have um, a Mac, if you have PC, I'm not sure what you do. You just do a little editing, video editing, maybe Microsoft movie editing. I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, 
you just go in there and you trim the end off, the ends off. You just go and there's a thing to how to do it, pulling the ends in, you hit save, and then you rename it. And then you're going to have a nice, neat and tidy little um, audition without you turning on and turning off the camera. So, okay. So hopefully, hopefully that's making sense to you. So that's a way to do it. You can do that. Now, also, with Zoom, Zoom is really cool because um, you can record yourself on Zoom. So Zoom is like Skype. It's just different. It's just a different name. It's a conference call, um, video conferencing platform. So with Zoom, what you can do is you can have your friend Zoom you. You set up a little thing. You Zoom, so you're Zooming each other. And then you go ahead and you go in and you pin your image. There's a little, a little um, like the three dot thing. You go in there and it says pin image. You pin your image and it will just stay on you. It won't show the other person, but you can hear their sound. So you can do that. Um, otherwise, if you don't pin it, it's going to flip back and forth to whoever's talking, which you don't want to do for your audition. You just want to have you talking. But you can go ahead and um, pin yourself, do your audition with your friend reading, which is really cool because you can actually connect with them. Um, you want to be careful with Zoom, though, because you know you never want to look into the lens when you're when you're auditioning, unless there's certain things you're auditioning for, like commercials where you look right to lens. So you want to make sure that you're, the person that's reading with you is positioned somewhere so you're not looking directly into their, their eyes. Um, so then when you're done with that, you've got your little MP3 file or MP4 file, I mean, and you can go back and you can trim it. Now, there is a slight problem sometimes. I have done this a few times, and it gets off sync if you trim it um, or something happens. It just gets off sync, the, the sound and the... Um, the sound and the movement. So if that happens, you can put it into a, a editing video editing program like Premiere Pro and just sync it back up, which is a little involved. I know it's, I'm getting a little techy here, but um, but these are workarounds. These are ways to do it, and um, that is pretty much it, actually. So I think that's pretty much your basics of how to self tape, especially if you don't have a person there. And if you get the system set up, you're going to really be able to do it easily and you'll be comfortable with it and you'll be able to help out other friends too. So it's, it's just a really convenient, great way to do this if it looks good. You want it to look as professional as you possibly can. You want to have that great lighting. You want to just frame yourself properly like head to, to um, tummy, sort of like, like this-ish is probably what you want. Um, the super tricky thing is, is if they want a full body shot of you. I don't know how to work around that. I don't know what to do if you don't have somebody else there to give you a body shot to do the camera like that. So that's something, if you have any ideas, if you have any solutions for that, I'd love to hear. That's basically it. So good luck on your self-taping. We're going to go deeper into this. We're going to go deeper into lighting later on. Then I'll show you how to set up your lights. All right? Great. Thanks for watching. Um, we are having a play reading of my play I've written. It's called Amber Alert. This will be this Sunday, if you happen to be in Salt Lake City, Sunday from 7 to 9. Um, I can actually, I'll post a link to the to it below. Um, my play got into the Salt Lake Great Salt Lake fin Fringe Festival, so we're just having a reading on Sunday night with the cast, and everybody's invited. And, um, yeah, that's it. Have a great day. We'll see you next time on Acting from All Angles. Good night.